Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we have a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl moveset video guide on how to use Zangoose. I have been waiting for this Pokemon to come back. If you guys missed any of my moveset video guys, check them out. They're on the channel. Make sure you subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. On my way to 300k, I'll be covering, uh, I'll be doing this for basically every Pokemon because even if I don't do it on a like individual video i'll be making one big guide on how to use every single pokemon that's fully evolved in pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl so definitely stay tuned and uh, i even have a showdown live later today where i feature this pokemon as well as a wi-fi battle featuring inferno later today so a lot of stuff to stay tuned but i like zangoose i love zangoose's uh, abilities we have toxic boost as well as immunity both are great in their own right Toxic Boost is probably the coolest one because when you are poisoned, its physical attacks have 1.5 times the power. So, really, really cool because giving Zangoose a really strong uh, way of using moves like Facade, which is pretty cool too because Facade is already stronger. It's 140 base power when you are statused. Well, when you are burnt, poisoned, or paralyzed. So, really nice because on top of that, it's stronger as well because of the Toxic Boost. But... The first set is taking advantage of that Toxic Boost set. Uh, you can run either Jolly or Adamant on this. It's really up to you. Uh, you can run Zangoose on either offensively based builds. In my opinion, that's the way to do it. Or you're using it with like pivots like Volt Switch and U-Turn to get it in. Maybe you're going to use it on Sticky Web as well. This allows you to outspeed a lot of Pokemon just because Zangoose only has 90 base speed. So it's not the fastest Pokemon, but it's also not the slowest in a Gen 4-esque metagame. But again, Toxic Boost, you want to run max speed, max attack. Uh, the other four EVs can either go in either defenses, but uh, your moveset's usually going to be Facade, Close Combat, and Quick Attack. Facade, again, is just strong. This attack is way too strong. This attack is so strong, coming off of the Toxic Boost and already the fact that Facade boosts in power. Then you have Close Combat. Close Combat allows you to deal with Steel types. If you're using this Pokemon, for example, in the uh, the OU tier right now, if you go for if you have a Swords Dance, because there is Swords Dance on the set, uh, you can knock out like Scizor with plus two Close Combat. Um, depending on the EVs, of course. And then Quick Attack is there because unfortunately Zangus does not get extreme speed. They need to give Zangus extreme speed, okay? I need more Pokemon to get extreme speed. It, it, it's like Light Noon standing up already, so it just needs to have it. It's, well, it's not. But still, I stand by that. It's a normal type. It should get extreme speed just like Light Noon does. But uh, we have Quick Attack there. It's your priority move. It might seem relatively weak, but it's nice with the Toxic Boost, especially if you are running Swords Dance as your last move. Now, of course... You can run Swords Dance or Night Slash. Zangus does not have Knock Off currently. When it does get Knock Off, replace Night Slash with Knock Off. It's a great move. Uh, but because Zangus does not have that, I do have it Slash with, uh, with Swords Dance. Basically, if you're not running Night Slash, then your set is walled by Ghost Types, period, right? Because they're immune to both Ghost... Uh, excuse me, they're immune to both Normal and Fighting, which is what Zangus is going to be going for. But Swords Dance, if you are able to get up a Swords Dance, you are killing things like Tangrowth at plus two, which is pretty impressive considering it's a tag growth, you know? So it's it's just basically a wall breaker. Uh, you can just run four attacks. Again, Zangus doesn't have the best chances to uh, to set up. However, again, with a uh, plus two boost, with even an adamant nature, you're just KOing a tag growth facade. So that's super cool. But again, it's completely up to you if that's what you want to run. Now, another set that's actually really good on Sticky Web as well, and I think takes better advantage of Zangus, in my opinion, is the Belly Drum set. Uh, while the other set I think is going to be nice, especially in lower tiers, this one actually has potential, I think, in OU, just because it does have Quick Attack. Uh, so, uh, Belly Drum, if you guys didn't know, when you go for Belly Drum, you lose half of your maximum HP, so 50%, and then you get plus 6 attack. So this is a way of just going immediately to the highest stats possible, uh, for a boosted Zangoose that's not running like a boost plus a choice band or anything like that. So plus six is the highest you can get, right? So with Belly Drum, it automatically gets you to plus six. Uh, so then there is, I want to go back on my words with that because you could be plus six and then technically you eat a choice band and there's like, there's situations, but whatever, right? So you get plus six with Zangoose. Now you definitely want to run Quick Attack, Night Slash, and Close Combat on this. You might be wondering, well, why is there no normal stat? Well, first off, Zangoose does not have access to return or, uh, Frustration for whatever reason I saw it in the you know We saw it in like the game on like the contest on like Lopini, but or Baneer, excuse me But it's not in the game for whatever reason and you don't want to run a, a 70 base power move uh, Like facade especially because your ability is immunity, right? So the reason we're immunity over toxic boost is because we want to be able to set up on you know 
uh, Pokemon that go for toxic or at least toxic spikes because you're already going for belly drum to lower your HP So why and hazards could be up? So why would you make it so that Zangus can uh, also be hit by toxic spikes, but um, Belly drum plus quick attack is really nice because it allows you to deal with faster Pokemon Latios for instance is one of them uh, Infernape as well, especially if you're under Sticky Web, right? If Infernape's under Sticky Web and it's not Choice Scarf, your Quick Attack is going to be faster than a Mach Punch. So that priority is just really nice for picking off Pokemon. It just becomes a, a semi-little, it's, it's a baby nuke. It's a baby nuke. Again, if it was Extreme Speed, it'd be probably pretty busted. But, uh, because it's it's stronger than Linoon, it has a better move pool. Uh, but, it's alright. It's not. So we have Night Slash as the next move. Uh, you definitely want Night Slash on this one. Um, again, the ability to hit ghosts. This one's really good on Sticky Web too, so you get that Sticky Web on Gengar, which no longer has Levitate. Uh, so you're able to slow it down and outspeed it and knock it out with Night Slash, obviously. And then you have Close Combat because you want to be able to plow through steals as well with this move set. So the 4 HP and Citrus Berry means that when you Belly Drum uh, from full, you automatically get your Citrus Berry. So instead of being at 50%, you get uh, to 75% after that. Uh, so maybe you can Belly Drum up on a little bit weaker Pokemon, some passive Pokemon like that. I mean, it has 73 HP, 60 base defenses. Not the best, but like you can still live like an Earthquake from Gliscor or Neutral. Uh, so there's just some options right there. I think Jolly or Adamant are both fine. Um, Jolly is better uh, for speed ties against at least other base 90s. Um, but you could go Adamant for the additional power. I haven't ran specific calcs yet that need Adamant, at least in this regard. Uh, on the other one, though, obviously, on the Toxic Boost one, Adamant's just better for, like, knocking out Tangrowth at plus two. So those are both, like, your options right there. Uh, Zangus does have one other option. I didn't make a set for it, or as 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 a bunch of good moves in its move pool, realistically, but just, are you going to get this off with Zangus is the question you should be asking whenever you try to use a Pokemon like that. So, I think the other uh, set that has some merit is uh, the Swords Dance Flail set with... Um, with Endure plus Salic Berry, and then your last move would be like Night Slash. Uh, so the idea is that Flail, when you get to 1 HP, is incredibly strong, right? Um, so it becomes Zangus's strongest move, right? It becomes Zangus's strongest move. So you Swords Dance up, you have a Leechy Berry, so that way when you get down there, you can Endure. You can Endure, so you guarantee live a hit, which is pretty good for Zangus considering he has 60 base defenses across the board. Uh, so you Endure, so you get the hit, you get your Salad Berry, now you're, you're plus two as well because you Swords Dance. Your Flail, which is your strongest move, is there, and again, you're faster than things because of the uh, Salad Berry. And then you have Night Slash there, just as your secondary coverage. Um, because that will help you out versus like ghosts and whatnot. You don't want to be walled. But again, other moves that are pretty notable in its move set that it might not be using, but are just still cool to know. It gets taunt and it gets thunder wave. Uh, so really nice to see a Pokemon that gets like thunder wave. Um, I think it's just cool like when random mons get thunder wave to be honest. But it's a normal type, so it gets whatever. Uh, Final game. It's also the other thing that kind of stands out when it comes to this Pokemon. However, with base 73 HP, it's not the best. But maybe you can use a choice scarf set if you wanted. Um, but I, I wouldn't really use it unless your, your goal is to get like self-toxic spiked and then have your attacks be stronger, whatever. And then your last option is instead of Night Slash, uh, there, there is Shadow Claw, uh, basically the same thing, but it just doesn't hit normal types. I think Night Slash is better, but uh, some people run Cobra Berry, like on Slowbro for instance, or on a few Pokemon, so that's, uh, Shadow Claw can be there. And if you want a little bit of a weaker option, which can be you know pretty cool with the shenanigans with eating your berry, there's Thief. So the idea is, you know, you eat your berry, with, uh, citrus berry when you belly drum, and if you go for Thief, maybe on a bulkier Pokemon, you can steal their leftovers. But it is weaker, and it does make a difference when it comes to Night Slash versus Thief versus like a physically defensive Slowbro, for instance. But yeah, that's all I have for ya. Uh, I'll have a... a a Wi-Fi battle going up at 2 p.m. Eastern today, and I'll also have a showdown live featuring Zangus later today as well. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Also, if you want to pick up the games or anything from Best Buy, it is Cyber Weekend. Feel free uh, to use my Best Buy link down below. You support me. I do get paid if you buy something from that. I appreciate it. US only, though. So I'll see you next time. Peace.